Okay, we're going to start by attaching the mount to the bottom of the DX25. These are the arms for the bottom of the projector. Select the proper screw, insert through there, and put the basal back on. Here's the attachment of the arms to the bottom of the projector. If you notice, they're going in opposite directions. Next, we put the base plate on. Again, line the bolts with the proper slots and attach them with the three nuts provided. This is the face plate or the cover for the projector mount. It just snaps into place. And this is the mount that goes onto the wall arm. Again, it just kind of snaps into place. And there's a Allen wrench to lock it into place. The arm in this case was mounted about 72 inches uh, from the ground. We picked the stud in the center of the room, pre-drilled the hole for the wires, uh, put the wall mount on the proper stud, attached it with screws. This is the wall arm. It attaches to the bay wall plate with two main bolts. That's what we're putting in here. And there's four other bolts that go into the top and bottom of the mount, two on each side. And these provide the strength for the angling. This is the leveling of the wall arm. We use the level to figure out the proper angle for the wall arm and then tighten up the bolts on the top and bottom to secure it. The side panels come off. This is showing that so that we can put the wires for the projector in there. Here we're hiding the USB cable. And on this side we have power and VGA cables being ran. Again, this makes a really nice, clean installation. Mounting the projector to the wall arm, again, pretty straightforward. The mount slips into the groove cut on the bottom of the projector, or excuse me, on the bottom of the mount. It's attached with two Allen, excuse me, Allen screws. And here we're just kind of fingery tightening them. And the mount, then, or the projector then can be slid forward and backwards and that's to compensate for your different screen sizes. Here we're attaching the cables, power VGA, and finally we're attaching the USB cable that hooks to the camera section of the projector. Finally, putting on the wall covers, this covers up the wall mount and the hole for the cables. This is the cover for the end piece. Um, and again, it makes a really nice installation. Mounting the screen, the one thing we uh, did here is the screen is offset about three inches from center to compensate for the fact that the lens isn't on center. Here we're doing some final adjustments to the projector, centering it on the screen. Again, all pretty straightforward. And finally, here we were running some light pen software uh, to test the system out to make sure everything was working. Again, thank you for watching our video.